All right, so today we're going to kick off the first map with a very special map. I just farmed roughly 1,300 8 mod Corrupted Crimson Temple maps. And of course, I looked at them through the rejects. I wanted to see where, which one is the best, which is the absolute utter most juiciest map of all. And I have identified it right here. It's called Morbid Remains. This is going to be a Hall of Fame map here. Look at this monster. 50% packs, increased pack size innate. This was the single highest pack size map out of 1,298 maps that were found. Feast your eyes on this sucker. I mean, this is really a sight to behold. So I'm going to treat this map extra special. We're going to start it off, and we are going to do something that I almost never get to do anymore. You might guess what it is. Let me put these sextants in here as we start off map number one. This is not something I can do very often anymore these days. You know, we used to, uh, a long time ago, strongbox farming was my favorite thing to do. And it was during Prophecy League that I loved putting the prophecies in for the strong boxes. And of course, anytime that monstrous treasure hit, I was just absolutely freaked out. I just loved it so much. So I have one monstrous treasure. Uh, it, and if you're wondering how to get that, that comes from uh, Shaping the Skies. 3% chance uh, to get a special map crafting option. I don't run that very often, so I typically only get a one or two of these crafts in entire league. So obviously, a little bit of cheating here as far as a 1,000... Maps. I'm going to be running Harbinger for the for the other 999 map, but for this one, we're going to put 24 to 36 extra strong boxes on the map. I would probably I feel a little bit bad not doing this as a wandering path setup. I wonder what kind of pack size it would have with that. But anyway, here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use any master missions here. I'm just going to put it in right there. Whew, almost makes me nervous clicking OK on that. I wonder if it... OK. <laughs> well, that actually spawned pretty quickly. I'm a little disturbed by how quick that spawned. So here we go. Usually there was a delayed uh, spawn uh, in the portal here. So this is how I'm going to be doing these maps, just like I always do. <laughs> this the whole thing's just going to be absolutely flooded with strong boxes. I still want to rush the boss. The reason I like Crimson Temple the most is because I can rush the boss and I can still get full value out of the Delirium Mirror. Get a few little uh, rare uh, stolen headhunter buffs here. I guess 11 will have to do it. Okay, you can already see a ton of uniques already dropping. Kind of crazy. Uh, I do not have uh, singular focus on these maps because I just didn't quite have the point allocation to do it. You know, either you're going to put Singular Focus, get a few extra Divines on the map, or you're just going to, you know, I guess get some unique Moon Temples, unique Cursed Crypt maps, and get a little extra value there, and some Conquer Influence maps, things like that. So we're going to be counting basically the all value of everything. Wow, I already hit a currency conversion of an Exalt and two Divines. That's so early. That's weird. That's not actually what I was going for, but... <laughs> Of course I will take that. A nice little, nice little uh, mini jackpot there to kick off the entire session with. You can see the Delirium Mirror is already kind of beginning to expire. I gotta go ahead and start hitting these strong boxes because I'm not. I'm gonna run out of the opportunity to do it later. But here we go. I mean, just kind of going right through them. Every time you fully open a strong box, you kind of hold the mirror back for a few seconds. I did kill a King Harbinger, so I guess probably okay. I think I might be able to get away with trying to get an altar I would really 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 love to hit divination chance to be duped but uh, I don't really see many altars spawning there might be an issue with uh, <laughs> strong box eliminating many of the altars I don't know we'll see but here we go we're just kind of blowing through this obviously not seeing much yet I mean I already got two divines so that's fun the Life Thief, okay, that is the same as a Dragon Heart. That is also another card, and I don't count it because it's, uh, you know, it's not really a valuable card. But that is the automatic Xerfi's Amulet card, and it is specific to this map. It's the same drop chance as a Dragon Heart, which basically means it's one fifth of an Apothecary in terms of drop rating. Uh, we got a Divine Orb here, another Raw Divine Orb. So that's a little awkward. I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't get, I'm not seeing a single. Uh, Red Star uh, Divination card, but I guess that's how it is. 
Oh, okay. We got a taste of hate there, which is still, still very valuable, even as default. That's nice. So, winged reliquary scarab. Definitely paying off a little there. Well, it wasn't a nothing burger of a map, at least. I got three raw divines, a taste of hate. And I guess that's going to about do it. And I did open most of the strong boxes inside the Delirium Mirror. As far as I understand, uh, the monsters are affected by Delirious, and they do have a, a decent uh, more quantity and more rarity multiplier tied into them, which is pretty impactful whenever they already have a 600% increased quantity multiplier already attached to them. And I just cannot survive the rest of this map because this is obviously a very, very rough map. <laughs> As we can see. Let's go ahead and actually look at uh, the mods on there. Yeah, I know this had minus max res. Oh, now I hit an altar. Yeah, well, a little late there, but uh, okay. Minus max res, crit. It had all kinds of, like, boss nodes, I guess. Oh, I missed some of these strong boxes, I guess. A second life thief feels really bad, man. That's, uh, that's the same as finding two dragon hearts, so... I don't know. Just found the wrong, found the wrong rare card on this map. Okay, I think I'm basically done here. And again, you know, Blood Rage is just gonna kill me outright here, but uh, the map's done. Map's looted. So that's it. Good to be level 100, so I don't care about that on there. There you go, Monstrous Treasure. A very rare occurrence these days.